Hey everyone, it's a great day in sports analytics. My name is Victor Holman, sports analytic expert, and welcome to the Sports Analytics 3-Minute Drill, where I break down sports analytic methods and explain how they're being used today in the world of sports. Today I'm going to discuss probability distributions, and more, more specifically, point distributions and expected points. Remember, this model, like all others, can be applied to the Apple Sports Analytics framework and model to optimize the player scoring profiles and help players execute the coaching strategy. And remember, if you like this video or find it informative, please like it and subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. In probability theory and statistics, a probability distribution is a mathematical function that provides the probabilities of occurrence of different possible outcomes in an experiment. In more technical terms, the probability distribution is a description of a random phenomenon in terms of the probabilities of events. For instance, if the random variable x is used to denote the outcome of a coin toss, the experiment, then the probability distribution of x would take the value of 0.5 for x equals heads and 0.5 for x equals tails, assuming the coin is fair. Examples of random phenomena can include the results of an experiment or survey. Point distributions and expected points. One probability distribution that is especially useful in sports statistics is the distribution of the points scored. The distribution analyzes the probability of scoring points in any given situation. In a football game, a team could be on second down at their opponent's 10-yard line. The distribution would give the probability of the team scoring 6 points, 3 points, or no points in that situation. The distribution of points is very detailed, which is not always required. At these times, the expected value, also known as expected points, is a more useful tool. Rather than a distribution of points, the expected points boils the chances of scoring points in a particular scenario down to one number. For example, a baseball team has a runner on third base with one out. The expected runs in this scenario would be seen as a single probability such as .415. Expected points are a single number summary of a point distribution. It can be useful on its own, but you must be careful as it does not contain all of the information often required in an analysis. Relating it back to the distribution can prove to be very eye-opening and looking at the expected points of scenarios that are very similar to each other. There are two basic methods used to determine the probability distribution of points. The first approach sifts through all of the historical data available, combining similar scenarios together to determine the probability distribution. This approach assumes the current scenario will follow a pattern similar to previous scenarios. The second approach is to use a probability model based on the probability of certain outcomes occurring and creates the probability distribution from that information. The type of approach used depends on the type of game being analyzed. Neither method is able to guarantee the expected points in a given situation and it is unable to take into account the intangibles of the individual players on that specific day. Analysts can use the probability distribution to look at the probability of the impact different plays can have on the outcome of the game. This helps in ranking which type of play in a given scenario is most likely to gain the outcome desired. They can use expected points to analyze a coach's choice and which play to call and how effective it will be in that situation or whether a different play would be more likely to have a positive outcome. Coaches can use the probability distribution to evaluate strategies in a different situation, giving them information to adjust their playbook to better fit specific scenarios when facing different opponents. Looking at expected points helps them decide which play is most likely to result in a score. And that's probability distributions applied in sports analytics in three minutes. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you found it informative. If you'd like to learn about a groundbreaking approach for leveraging analytics to get players to execute team strategy, check out my Agile Sports Analytics framework, software, and mobile app. 
If you'd like to know how your team or sports organization can leverage analytics across the seven key maturity areas and 26 best practices, check out my sports analytics maturity model and take the free comprehensive sports analytics maturity assessment. To learn more about this and 150 different sports analytic methods, purchase my book, Sports Analytics from A to Z, available on Amazon. And if you need help developing analytic models that create a competitive edge, contact me for a free consultation at www.agilesportsanalytics.com or call me at 888-861-8733.